Thank you, President. I am grateful for the dedication and support of the European Parliament for this cause. So thank you all for your um, very valid interventions tonight. This is a fact-based commission. We act on facts. And the fact is that women are paid less than men. So may I add that it is also a fact that the Commission will act on this fact. I want to conclude by recalling that in addition to binding pay transparency measures and tackling the gender pay gap, as was mentioned here, uh, there are other factors which contribute uh, to uh, women not being able to use their full potential and not being remunerated then for, for what they are uh, doing. So, so it, it, there, there's this new strategy on gender equality which will address other concomitant topics which were highlighted in, in the President's political guidelines. So we will work to combat and prevent violence against women, including online violence. We know also that there is a correlation uh, between women's financial independence and abuse and remaining in abusive relationships. Okay, so when we are talking, as mentioned earlier, on, on the subject of, of pay, there are other, other consequences if this, this uh, big issue is not addressed as it should be. So also, I want to see gender balance on company boards and enhance work-life balance for women and men. Again, this, this uh, affects the quality of lives of, of women, of men, of our families. So also I want to say that we pay attention to the gender and broader equality perspective when addressing some of our society's main challenges, such as climate change and digitalization. The Commission will monitor the implementation of the Work-Life Balance Directive in the Member States. We will promote take-up of the rights to family-related leave and flexible working arrangements especially by men. And this will promote a more equal sharing of care responsibilities, which is key to closing the gender pay gap. So as you can see, it is all related and, and connected. So it is, all, it is also about women achieving their full potential in the labor market, including their full economic potential. It will remove some of the incentives for women to self-select into lower paying occupations and lower paying roles within organizations. The strategy in line with the commitments and the political guidelines of the new commission will also work on improving women's position in decision making. I will work hard with member states to build a majority to unblock the, direct the directive on women on boards. I count on the strong support of the Parliament. Together we can make the, the gender pay gap history. Thank you. Obrigado. Obrigado, Sra. Comissária, pela sua presença, pela sua intervenção. O debate está encerrado. A votação realizar-se-á no período de sessões de janeiro 2, portanto, no final do mês. Passamos agora para o ponto seguinte.